Introducing the Bobber app for the Bobcat Miners. Now this is a complete disruption because now we can actually do a lot of things that we couldn't do before. So we're, today we're gonna go over the four most important features of this app. That being adding a host to your miner. This could be super beneficial if you're hosting multiple miners. Should you ever need some serious technical support uh, that you can't find in our Discord or anywhere else, you could just now submit a request and you'll get an answer pretty quickly. The diagnoser built-in feature and saving the best for last, the resync feature that it's brand new and this feature alone is probably one of the best features that only bobcat miners have at the time of this video this miner here has been giving me some trouble every two, uh, three or four days the miner seems to go offline i have no idea why and see i have been flatlining here so at the end of the video we're going to go over the resync feature and see if i can get this to reboot this is about 50 miles away from me so i obviously don't have access to it right now and that's what the resync feature is all about so this is a new blog post that bobcat just came out they releases in their discord community which again i will have both links down below and you guys can revert back to this should you have any questions in the future. If you follow this channel closely, guys, you guys know that we have multiple miners and we like to run things at a fleet level. I have a tiny size fleet, uh, but I am working on growing it. Now, this will make all of this extremely viable. People always ask, how do I manage all these miners? And honestly, this is going to make it so much easier. So uh, that answers that question. Now, let's get into the first feature on my phone. So guys, if you haven't already linked up your account, you can go ahead and click on the link account. Uh, I have already done so. It says I have successfully done it. But the top right hand side is where you link your account. So starting off in order with number one, we're going to click on the web dashboard just to get started and click on hotspots on the bottom left. And here we'll be able to see uh, the hotspots that we have. If I click on Jolly Eggshell, which is the one that we're going to be fixing down the road, you can see what it's doing. You can see the temperature. You can see how long it's been up and what status is the light on your miner. So you don't have to go and look at the light anymore. It can tell you right here that it's green. Now, again, you can do this from your app. So that's a pretty big difference. That's a that's a big change. You used to have to log into the, the diagnoser on the web being on the same network. But now that is not the case. Now to access the features that we were talking about, go to the home section. We're going to click on the web dashboard. This is where we're going to be managing a lot of our hotspot. And then at the top left hand side, you're going to see a little drop down menu. Click on that. You have gateways and then you have hosts. Starting off, if you click on hosts here, you can use this. So you send one of your hosts the app functions and that way they can uh, track the hotspot as well. So maybe you guys can communicate. This also works really great if you have multiple hotspots, like say you have 10 hotspots. This would be a good way to have your host uh, on the lookout as well and ready to do any kind of fixes that he needs to do or he or she needs to do. All you have to do is click on the add button on the top right hand side and then you shall be able to send them an email, verification code, contact name and then hit submit. Going back. Now, if you go all the way back to the home, uh, there is a contact support. I'm gonna get this out of the way because we did talk about it first. And so uh, just on a homepage, when you hit the submit request, you can talk about what issues you have, the 500 or the app or the 300. Then if I click on the Bobcat 300, you can immediately start typing in anything that you guys need, reason for contact, payment, shipping, technical support. So this makes it very easy for them to handle your request, therefore making it faster uh, for the response time. And then should you have any FAQs, you can find them down here at the very bottom. So again, this is very helpful, especially if you're just getting into mining, or even if you're experienced, this is gonna be uh, probably one of the biggest tool for us as Bobcat miners. Now going back to the web dashboard, guys, sorry to go back and forth. I just wanna keep it straight in the order that we talked about. So if you click on this drop down menu once again, here we have the gateways. So when you click on that, so you can type in the address here of your hotspot. This is going to be the public key and then if you want you can also type in the mac address which this is blank these are not real numbers but what is it this is the product label that comes on the back of your miner or sometimes on the side of your miner and sometimes it just comes in a little card now if you scroll down guys this is where it gets good just taking a look at this we can see that we have some uh one of my hotspots is at 62 degrees celsius which is pretty hot here we get to see how the miners are operating all of my miners are running except for Jolly Eggshell Camera, which is the one that we were gonna uh, do at the end of this video. You can look at the gap. The gap lets you know how far you are from the blockchain. So 62 degrees Celsius is 142, 143 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really hot and I don't like that. Now this is in the bare sun. So if you have some heating problems, guys, I will be posting a video and if it's already made, I will tag it right here. I'm working on a quick fix to make sure that I can put my miners uh, in, the sh in the shade or maybe somehow build some kind of feature that keeps them cool. So. Uh, be on the lookout for that, guys. 
Now going back into the video, if you click on the plus button from Jolly XO Camel, here we have a drop down menu and it tells us everything about our miner. Now guys, if you keep scrolling all the way down to the bottom, you can see that it has uh, a couple features. You can change the host from here. Now a reboot just means that you're gonna power it off. So hence the little power sign. If you do a reset, that means you're going to completely reset the miner. That means you're gonna delete the software and then you're going to re-add it. Uh, so that takes usually a little bit longer. A resync just means like maybe you're stuck, so you need to resync it. And then uh, you're not going to be deleting anything there, though. And then the fast sync, say your hotspot has been physically off for quite a while, or maybe you did something new, you relocated it to a new location. A fast sync might help you catch up to the blockchain uh, relatively fast. Now, for me, I will be doing a reset. If you notice right here, it says gap is 152. But again, I don't know why this keeps happening. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a whole reset. So now click on reset. And this will be the same message that pop up for all of the buttons. Since you are scheduling a reset, the command will be executed in approximately 30 minutes. Hit OK. Reset schedule, you can cancel at any time. Go to the local diagnoser if you have any questions. Now this app is relatively new, guys. So if there is a little bit of uh, of a glitches, a little bit of a uh, loss of functionality give it some time they are going to have to work out some glitches bobcat has been the first manufacturer to push out these integrations as fast as possible helium recently announced that manufacturers are going to have to have their own apps for their integration for the use of their miners and bobcat was the first to do so so that's a pretty good sign in, in my opinion not to mention most of us did get uh, bobcats first because they were one of the first people out there all right so if you appreciate the kind of content don't forget to hit the like and subscribe my name is garage parlo thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next time